Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit more about transistors. In particular, we're going to talk about NPN transistors versus PNP transistors. And they're basically opposites of each other in terms of the direction of current flow, while physically they are similar. And if we just keep in mind that, in a way, transistors are a pair of interconnected diodes. And what do diodes do? Diodes control the flow of current. So that's what our transistors can do. They can control the flow of current acting as a switch and they also act as an amplifier. Um, we didn't talk about this in our previous lesson, but we'll talk about it today. Uh, the four modes of a transistor, which we'll just call Q because I'm tired of writing the word transistor. Those four modes are saturation, where the transistor simply acts as a short circuit. Cutoff. Where it acts as an open circuit. Then we have the active mode. And in this case, the flow of current is proportional CTE of the flow of current to through the base. And our last mode, reverse active. And it is simply the opposite of active. You don't hear a lot about the reverse active mode because transistors really aren't designed to work that way, but they can. So we talked about NPN transistors, and we'll just draw one here. So there is our base, our collector, and our emitter. Now, when we get to PNP transistors, as I said, they are very similar. They contain the same basic parts. but they are basically reversed. Emitter with the arrow flowing in, collector. So when we're doing an NPN circuit, our current flows, a small current flows through the base emitter junction, which allows a larger current to flow through the collector emitter junction. When we're talking PNP transistors, a small current flows through the emitter base junction in this direction, allowing a larger current to flow through the emitter collector junction. And like I said, basically they're just the opposite of each other. When we design uh, NPN transistor circuits, we usually put the NPN on the low side. And when we design PNP transistors, we generally put the PNP on the high side. But what I'm going to show you today are both common 
emitter circuits. The emitter is tied to the common point and in the NPN the emitter will be tied to basically ground and in the PNP the emitter will be tied to VCC. But those are our common points and those are how the transistors work. Alright, so I've rigged up two simple transistor as a switch circuits. Over here on the left side we have our NPN transistor, an LED, a base resistor, and a current limiting resistor on the LED. So our VCC flows through the LED into the collector and our emitter goes to ground and then we have our base right now the base is tied to ground so I bring in some power this is 5 volts and if we tie our base to VCC and plug our ground into the correct socket current flows through the collector emitter junction because the voltage in the current is higher at the base than it is at the emitter and then if we put it back to ground now current at the base is lower than current at the collector and nothing flows now over here on this side we have our PNP transistor set up as a high side circuit we have VCC going to the emitter and then the collector flows through the transistor which flows to ground and we have our base transistor right now tied to VCC but if we tie it to ground current flows through the emitter collector junction and we light the LED so you can see how they are in a way very similar but in actuality quite reversed now let's take a look at something really neat and I want you guys to put on your thinking caps because I'm not going to tell you how this occurs you're going to tell me in the comments down below all right so here's our our two circuits our NPN high sides high sides low side circuit and our PNP high side circuit remember when we put the base either high or low they switch on the LED now here is an Arduino Nano running the blink sketch it turns on pin 13 high for one second and low for one second so let's start by connecting our grounds together we always need a common ground next let's take our bases and common them together and then we will take 5 volts from the Arduino and put it to the VCC rail now look what's happened here both LEDs are lit but now let's connect pin D13 to our bases and what's happening now we have created a simple oscillator circuit when pin 13 is high our NPN circuit lights when it's low 
are PNP circuit lights. So I want you guys to tell me why you think that's happening in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Please check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month. Keep the channel alive. And a big thank you to everybody who's pledged some money already. I'll be showing your names at the end of every video. That's it. I'm out. Peace.